welcome to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. Tonight I am making some stockpile gift baskets and I wanted to bring you along with me. First, you will need to go to Dollar Tree or a local store to find a basket if you do not have one at home. So I went to Dollar Tree the other day. I did post a video. I will link that in the description box down below. While you are at Dollar Tree, find a basket that you believe will be big enough for the items. And it is easier for you to get a deeper basket, especially if you are planning on putting in some heavier items such as body washes or shaving gel or even hair care. So make sure you get a sturdy basket. Once you have a basket that you would like to use, go ahead and pick up some of the decorative shreds of paper. This one is red and silver. I went ahead and I picked up one pack of this. This is like a filler item, so you're not going to be using a lot of this. Also, you will need to pick up shrink wrap. This shrink wrap is from Dollar Tree. It has a pull bow with it, so it comes inside. Be sure to get all of the gift baskets with the hair dryer here. If you do not, you will be picking up a regular bag for the basket. So make sure it has a hair dryer so we can put this together at the very end. Next, you will need to go through your stockpile and pick some items that you would like to use for these baskets. Pick a few extra items as well because you won't necessarily use everything that you take out. When you are making gift baskets, it is a trial and error. So pick out a bunch of items, place them on the table, and know that you may or may not use them all. So now that I have my gift basket, I have my paper shreds as a filler item, I have the outside shrink wrap, and I have picked out all of these items. It is now time to start making the basket. Tonight I will be making two stockpile gift baskets, so I have two red baskets here. These are the ones that I picked up from Dollar Tree, so they were $1 each. The first thing that I'm going to put into these baskets is Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I'm going to take this toothpaste here and I'm going to place it down flat all the way towards the bottom of the container, just like this. I'm going to do that for both of them. I am going to include these Wet n Wild gift sets. I am going to do one nail polish and one of the holiday eye candy. The reason why I put the toothpaste at the very bottom down there is to raise this product up here so then you can layer in the other products. Now that we have the toothpaste at the bottom and the Wet n Wild gift sets on top, I am now going to start to layer in some of the heavier products. I have chosen to use the Suave Body Wash. This is the Cocoa Butter and Shea. I am going to put one body wash in each basket. Next, I am going to add some of the paper shreds to the bottom of the baskets. I'm going to do just about a handful and we use those just as a little bit of a filler item. So I'm going to do one handful for each basket. Just throw it in there. It doesn't have to be neat. Then I am going to add in two of the Herbal Essence Mousse. I have two of these, so I'm going to put one in each. I'm going to put this one on this side here and the exact same for the other. Next I have the Satin Care Shave Gels and these are for dry skin. These are the free ones that we got not too long ago with the P&G inserts from Target, Walmart, wherever you shopped for them. These were completely free. Free items are awesome to put in your stockpile gift baskets. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to just place it in the center. Next I have the Garnier Whole Blends. This is the two in one. I have two of them. So again, I'm going to put one in each.
These items may move around just a little bit, but once we have all of the items inside of the gift basket, we will then fasten them with some double-sided tape, or you can also use regular tape, just wrap it around, and that should do the trick. So let's get all the items inside of the basket, and then once we have them in their places, we will secure them with the tape. Next, I'm going to put in these razor packs. There are 10 in each pack. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one in each. I have a handful of the paper shreds and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these on the bottom of these three items here. So I'm going to lift them up. I'm going to throw the paper shreds down there, place the items back on top. And you may need to do this a few times and you just want to make sure that you can see most of the products that you are putting inside of these baskets. Next I have two of the band deodorants so I'm going to place those to the left hand side of the basket. Two of the Colgate 360 toothbrushes. So I'm going to take the toothbrush and I'm going to put it right behind the whole blends and the same for the other one. I also have this intensive repair. This is foot cream. I'm going to put one in each. I'm going to put it right in front of the shave cream, right next to the razors. Same for the other one. Next I have this Bath & Body Works shower gel here and I also have the St. Ives. So I am going to put one in here and I'm going to put the other in this one here. I also have two of the Oveno lotions. So I'm going to put one in each. I picked these up. They are the double pack. Always pick up the bonus pack when you are couponing. So I am also going to throw these in there as well. I am actually going to take these out of their packages. As long as you keep them closed once you take them out of the package, they should be just fine. I'm taking them out of the package because the package will take up a lot of room and I still have a few items that I would like to include. So they are still closed and I have two of them so I am going to throw one in each. The mascara wet and wild gift set that we picked up today I am going to open this up and I am going to put two mascaras in each basket. These two are going to go in this basket here and these two are going to go into this basket. I also have two of the Dove body washes so I'm going to put one on this side by the deodorant and the same on the other side. I am going to put this Wet n Wild pink nail polish inside of this gift basket here. This gift basket has the Wet n Wild makeup and this one has the nail polish. So I'm going to put this one inside of here. Last holiday season I picked up these right here. These were on clearance for 25 cents. So I broke open the package because I only have one and I'm going to take one and put it with this one and the other and put it with this one. The gift basket that has the nail polish wet and wild gift set, I am going to also include this Maybelline eyeshadow. I have a few more of these smaller items than I thought I did, so I am going to pick up some of the front items and I'm going to place a handful of the filler paper. That just raises the products up and it also gives it a little bit of cushions. 
I had more smaller items than I thought I did so what I did was I took a handful of the filler paper and I lifted up these front products here and I put the shreds of paper underneath so it could raise the products up so you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to do the exact same thing for this basket here. So adding more of the filler paper brings up the products just a little bit more so you can see them. And again, before we are ready to wrap these up with the shrink wrap, we will secure the products with some tape. I have these two products here. I am going to put a lipstick in this one and I'm going to put this in this gift basket here. I think because I have a little bit of extra room I'm going to put another Maybelline eyeshadow. I'm putting it in this one here because this one already has an eyeshadow palette. This one is the nail polish. Okay so here are my two baskets. I had to rearrange them just a little bit. I put a little bit more filler paper inside so now that I have both of my baskets I have taped down some of the products so they are not going to fly everywhere. So next we need to add the shrink wrap as well as the bow. Before I close the baskets I am going to include a little note. The reason why I am doing these baskets is because my hubby is on dialysis and there are two nurses that are really good to him. So I am making these baskets for both of them and I want to write them a little note just to let them know that they are very, very appreciated. So it says, thank you for all that you do. Your hard work, your dedication, and your compassion every day is so important. You are so appreciated. Happy Thanksgiving. So I am going to put this inside of the basket and then I'm going to shrink wrap. So I have already taken the shrink wrap bag out of the plastic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that plastic just as it is a regular shopping bag and I am going to lay it out flat on the table. Okay, so I have opened up the bag and I rolled the corners down so I can just place the basket inside and then I'm going to pull up the sides. It is the easiest way to do this. So there is writing in the middle of these. I don't know if you can see it, but you want to get the basket centered with this piece here. So you place the ba basket inside of the bag, and then you're going to slowly pull up the bag. Alright, so now that it is centered, we do need to um, pull all of the extra um, plastic up here together. I am going to do that with a probably a small rubber band. I couldn't find little rubber bands so I did cut two little pieces of this decorative ribbon here. So I am going to bring all the paper up. And then I'm going to tie this. And I do a double knot just to make sure that it stays. Alright, so now that we have our basket here in place, we have pulled the shrink wrap over and we have tied it here at the top. We now have to use our blow dryer and shrink wrap the basket. So I have my hair dryer here and I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to start from the bottom of the basket. I'm going to go all the way around the bottom and then I'm going to work my way up. 
So be sure to have enough room or have the blow dryer enough far enough away from the basket because you don't want to burn a hole in the plastic. You just want it to shrink wrap the product. So I'm starting from the bottom. I am going up. I am going to do the rest of the basket and then I will show you what it looks like. Now that I have finished shrink wrapping this basket, I started from the bottom and I worked my way up. I went all around the basket. I also flipped the basket over and I blow dried the bottom of the basket as well. Now it is time to put the bow on the basket. Believe it or not, this is the bow here. We are going to make it ourselves. If you get the same package from Dollar Tree just as I did, this bow will come inside each shrink wrap package. So what you're going to do is these two pieces right here, you are going to hold them just like this. And there is a little plastic piece and you wanna make sure that your thumb stays there. You can let these pieces go. And I like to use two hands because this is a one-time type of deal here. So you'll hold it here and you'll just keep pulling, pull the long string, and it will form into a bow for you. Now that you pulled that string, it has turned long and you will be able to wrap it around and tie it around the basket. Be sure to do this lightly. These strings are easy to break. So just be careful when you are doing this. I give it a double knot just like the first one. And then I will trim these strings here. Alright. We do have some excess on top so we have our bow on we shrink wrap the basket here and we just need to trim this up so you take it with your hand and you snip some of it off so now you have your stockpile gift basket all right everyone so i am going to do the exact same thing to the second basket it is about 1.30 in the morning here, so I am going to do this very quickly and head off to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.